What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Wisco Madman, coming at you with another reaction video. This time, we're gonna go ahead and jump into some Black Rifle Coffee stuff, Matt Bass. Um, I'm pretty sure this is on Matt Bass' channel. Um, can't remember quite, because I click a bunch of shit and just put it in the list. But, pretty sure this one comes from his channel. Um, just look in the description, I'll have it down there. Uh... This one's called How to Everyday Carry, EDC. Um, you'll hear people throw the term EDC around. I didn't know what it was necessarily for a while. Um, even though I like shooting and into guns and stuff, EDC to me initially meant um, the EDM festival shit because one of my best friends is huge into EDC. Um, going to Vegas or, or I think Orlando's the other spot or some shit, but anyway. So EDC, everyday carry, um, that's as it pertains to gun ownership. Um, so the, the gun you're going to carry on a daily, your, maybe your concealed carry, maybe your open carry, whatever. My EDC is a Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 2.09 millimeter. I don't talk about guns very much on this channel. Um, I don't believe in sharing that kind of information when the government's creating... All kinds of control, but this is going to be posted on YouTube, so I'll limit how much I say about that. Um, yeah, man. So, side note before we jump into this video, um, I didn't say it in the last one, but I'm making sure that I say it in at least a few of these videos that I make today. This spot is my baby girl Nala's spot. Um... You will not be seeing her in videos anymore. For that update, there's a video on my channel. You can check it out if you are so curious. If not, that's fine, but I'm not talking about it here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump up into this video, How to Everyday Carry. Deciding what your everyday carry or your EDC is can be very challenging. Glock, Glock, Glock. <laughs> I love the smile he has on his face when he looks at guns. That is exactly how I feel. Block. I can't believe I own one of those. And let's go <laughs> bear. When choosing your EDC, make sure you know what environment. A pistol that can kill a bear. God damn. That's some power, boy. Environment you'll be operating in. Because that changes the dynamics of your- It's a pretty puppy! <laughs> Violin case with guns. I was playing the song of freedom, okay? <laughs> you want to use? Ah, I can never tell the women the truth. Ain't that the fucking truth? Make sure you try fighting and give yourself an unrealistic expectation of safety. Give me your personal belongings. No. When choosing your EDC, you want to make sure you get a firearm small enough. Ah, you're you're such a fucking it. nerd. As you can see, you can't even tell that I'm carrying a firearm right now. <laughs> a lot of people ask me what my EDC is. I'm actually a minimalist, so all I usually carry is an appendix carry and a cheap pocket knife. Pocket 1911s. Hip revolver. Goddamn. I, I, I love the comedy of your fucking... <laughs> All I usually carry, and you're thinking it's just going to be one, and he pulls out, like, five fucking guns here. Uh, I think he's going on seven here. But, um, anyway, so the the mention I will say on, on EDC is dude, and, and that's a Kydex, so I'm guessing we the people holsters, and just a random guess, but it's a black holster, so I can't really tell. But the appendix carry, I've seen you pull it out of here, like, right out of the center, sitting by your junk. As much as I've never had a gun accidentally go off, and I always make sure my safety's on, I don't know how I feel about carrying one that's sitting right there. Not to mention, it's not exactly comfortable. I've tried to do, like, the, the you're supposed to put it on the inner part of your thigh kind of thing, 
and like that's that's how they taught CC class uh, concealed carry and stuff. And I I can't do that either, honestly. I currently because I don't like the Kydex very much. Um, it's pretty rough. Honestly, I have an alien gear holster that has nice fucking padding, and it's a three five, so it sits sits back towards the corner of my hip. Um, normally, I don't obviously tell random people in public that, but I'm pretty sure nobody that's watching my videos is trying to rob me. So there's that, um, or kill me, or whatever the fucking case is. But three point five, that's that's kind of the positioning, kind of the carry that I go with. That's what's comfortable for me, and in my case, I'm a fairly active person, so, like, when I carry hiking 14ers and shit, like, I don't want to open carry, because even though I legally can, people just are that way. You would be amazed at the amount of bullshit I caught, just for my buddy who, by the way, lives in the country, um, lives up in the mountains and shit, carried his AR-15, perfectly legal open carry weapon nothing illegal about his weapon people are like ah oh, why'd you carry that like, bro we're in the wilderness he lives out here like he sees a cougar or a bear every other fucking day like i'd carry a rifle too because to be completely honest with you my nine millimeter is not going to do shit to a bear hopefully scare it off but it ain't gonna do shit and for those of you who are all about that bear spray Try it. Go ahead. Use that as your defense. Cargo pocket 43s, back pocket Glocks, ankle carry scarf, toe carry MP5, <laughs> thigh carry Glock, back carry shotguns, back carry AR, horizontal carry AR, uh, flip flop carry shotguns. I love your gun humor, Matt. I love it. Appendix AR, appendix AK. Appendix carry turkey gun, prison wallet. Bro, I wish I could afford all them guns, but I'm a car guy too, so um, there's only enough money for so much. Press carry, ballistic jock strap carry, cap 308 carry, everyday carry resupply. <laughs> We need to do a better shot, Matt. We need a better shot, like do some nine mil rounds or whatever. Get you get you some salt boo or salt boy or salt bro, whatever the fuck that dude is. Like, I I I think there should be a meme of Matt Bass going with some fucking rounds. I think that would be perfect. Now I'm ready to go to the grocery store. Let's go, buddy! <laughs> Remember, when you're at home, you don't need an EDC. All you need is all the guns. <laughs> True. Everybody! Everybody. What? Yes. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you got some EDC tips out of it. Also, my book, Thank You For My Service, is on pre-sale right now. <laughs> Cheers to get this thing out. I am so freaking excited to release it. Also, Ooh, check out blackriflecoffee.com. It makes everything possible, all the videos. Other than that, uh, have a wonderful day. I'm kind of curious because thank you for your service is something that I try to make an effort to say. Um, because I do really appreciate those who served. Uh, I have kind of made a attempt, I should say. Not necessarily a valid attempt, but took PiCat tests and things like that to join the military. Um, felt like I was kind of getting brushed off, so eventually I brushed them off. But um, mainly because I have shit to do in my own life. But the point is, I never served, um, whether or not I wanted to. And I have a lot of respect for those who did. Um, so I'm kind of curious when he says thank you for my service, obviously it comes off kind of condescending, whatever you want to say. I'm curious because Matt seems to be a pretty cool guy from what I know of him. And, uh, I, I would love to read it honestly. And I don't read very many books. Um, if he has an audio book, I'll probably take that route because that's generally what I do with most books anyway. 
But uh, yeah, pretty fucking cool video. I love his fucking comedy skits, his different shit that he does. I love that he includes his girl in the videos. I'm pretty sure that's his wife. Um, and uh, yeah, man, pretty pretty dope shit. By the way, if you guys didn't know, I didn't know until like a week ago because I was listening to some podcasts and somebody said, oh, Black Rifle Podcast. I'm like, wait, there's a Black Rifle Podcast? So started listening to that this week at work. And, uh, yeah, pretty dope. More, more content to get from them. Them guys, Evan and Matt are both on there. Um, so if you're interested, check it out. And this has been your boy, Wisco Madman. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the like down below. Thank you so much. Uh, Rumble, if you're on Rumble, thank you guys for commenting, sharing, subscribing. And, uh, check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Clapper, Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, TikTok, Whole nine yards, search Wisco Madman. If I'm not on there, throw me something in the comments, man. And uh, if you're if you're interested in that sort of uh, platform, I'm always interested in jumping on more platforms if there's legitimate interest to do so. Otherwise, I just don't waste my time. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.